New at six, a specialized Idaho fish and game unit is training right now to get ready for their next peak season. When they're not training, you may see them at events like the sports show at the Western Idaho Fairgrounds in March. But for now, they're working to keep their senses sharp. News Channel 7's Sophia Bliss shows us how. Idaho Fish and Wildlife officers investigate different types of crimes, sometimes related to poaching. And sometimes when the case needs a little bit of extra help, they call in Canine Blue. Come on, come on, Blue. Up, up, come on. What officers do is if they need the dog to help find evidence, they call me and then I kind of assess if it would be valuable to have the dog there and then I, I try and get there as quick as I can because it's definitely time sensitive to get to where that scent's still on the items. Officer Mickelson with Idaho Fish and Game is Canine Blue's handler. Mickelson says seven-year-old Blue is trained to alert on the scents of eight different species of animals, gunpowder, gun oil, and people. I would say the goal of our unit is to assist officers on uh, poaching cases um, and then also it's to assist other agencies maybe with uh, missing persons, um, missing kids, missing hunters. In this demonstration you can see Blue sniff out the targets Officer Mickelson set out for him. When he finds something he's trained to detect, he sits down. Then Canine Blue gets his reward. On Tuesday, Blue alerted on shotgun shells in a box, spent shells, and a cell phone. Finding items like these helps investigators gather evidence and strengthen their cases. What I like to think of the dog is, is kind of like a tool in the toolbox for officers. Uh, the dog can find evidence efficiently and quickly, and it might find items that the officer might not be able to find because of the smell. Mickelson says on one case in particular, Blue was able to help track down a deer that was shot outside of the regular hunting season. It was an especially difficult task due to harsh weather conditions and terrain. On the fifth deployment, we actually found the deer and we were able to make the case and the suspect was charged with six charges on that. The K-9 program is still looking to grow. They're hoping that in all seven regions of the state could have a K-9 officer eventually. So if you'd like to donate to this program in particular, the Idaho Wildlife Foundation is accepting donations in May.